Well, it's about damn time. Hey guys, Vex Viewer here, and the following contains spoilers for Ruby Volume 8 Chapter 9 Witch. So if you haven't seen the chapter yet, go away, unless you want to be spoiled. I have to talk about this. So if you've been following my channel over the last couple of years, you know I have many issues with the character Yang. One of them being the fact that Yang refuses to acknowledge her mom, Summer Rose. She hasn't done that since Volume 2. I've been beating the drum on this for several years. It's been frustrating. How about we start with Yang's mom? No, 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 no. Her mom. Or should I say... Super mom. Yeah, super mom. Summer Rose. You know, the woman who raised her, fed her, and treated her like she was her own? Did you forget? Don't worry, Yang did too. Okay, I want you guys to listen to what I'm about to say. I want you to open up your skull and jam this into your brain. Yang had not one, but two loving parents, Summer and Tai. Yang did not know Raven was a thing until after Summer died. They say that as if they don't share the same parents. Yang and Ruby were raised by the same damn woman. Yang's mom is Summer Rose. Her name was Summer Rose, and she was like, super mom. You know, it's a shame they keep ignoring Yang's connection to Summer Rose. The writers decided for some reason that the memory of Summer only mattered to Ruby, which was always ridiculous. I mean, Summer raised Yang, and Yang actually spent more time with Summer than Ruby did. So why is she being cut out of the Summer Rose stuff? Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. I mean, they went as far as having Yang call Raven mom, and it just never landed. Yeah, it was a problem. So why am I bringing this up now? Well, in the latest chapter of Ruby, it appears they are finally addressing this. Everything I've lost, every person I've lost is because of you, Summer Rose, my mom. Finally, Yang fans rejoice and you're welcome. Good on you, Eddie, for getting this into the script. It's nice of Yang to remember her mom, you know? It's good, much appreciated. The fact that she never brought up Summer back in volume five was a major missed opportunity. Hopefully this leads to Ruby and Yang having a talk about their damn mother. Pretty pleased with sugar on top. They both found out last volume that Salem most likely had a hand in her ultimate demise. Remember, they don't know what happened to Summer. She left on a mission and never returned. This is the first time either of them have addressed this. Not until she was face to face with Salem did she say anything about this, but she's worried about how Blake feels back in chapter four for some reason. Do you think she thinks less of me for not helping out with Amity? Instead of nodding at the shippers here, what if she brought up Summer Rose and how that revelation was affecting her? This scene would be even better. Oh well, too late now. See Yang fans, I want what's best for her just like you do. Oh, and like I said, you're welcome. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. What are your thoughts on Yang remembering who raised her? Are you happy? Do you even care? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Peace. Hit the subscribe button. Seriously, hit it, hit it, hit it. If I'm overthinking, I'm really trying, so I should stop it. So hard on myself, it's true. Pick apart the things I do. Been in hiding, backsliding, keep rewinding, pulling the thread through the loop.